In 2001, Larry Sanger co-founded Wikipedia. He left the country the company some years ago, but in the years since, Wikipedia has gone on to become the world's single most important source of history, of information about the world. And so it's a problem that we ought to pay attention to when Larry Sanger himself says that Wikipedia is no longer a reliable source of honest information. He says the editors of Wikipedia use highly politicized sources and block dissenting news outlets from contributing. And once again, that's a problem for all of us. Larry Sanger joins us tonight. Larry Sanger, thanks so much for coming on. This is one of those things that a lot of people, a lot of us who use Wikipedia have noticed. Well, wait a second, you know, I know some facts that are somehow not in this entry or they're playing up something that doesn't seem to be true or this is highly politicized. You see the bigger picture here. What do you think is going on? Well, it's complicated. Um, for one thing, Wikipedia allows anonymous contribution. And um, that means that uh, because it's one of the most uh, popular sources of information online, there's a natural um, incentive for uh, governments and corporations spies, even criminal operations, to uh, basically learn how to play the Wikipedia game. So it's, it's opaque to me now how it really works. And what results is um, basically establishment views are the ones that you find pushed. Yes. And they have a, they've uh, completely abandoned the neutral point of view. That's a problem because, I, in my view, Wikipedia shapes this country's understanding of the world. It is the primary source of information for a lot of people, I would probably say most people actually, about history. So we need to fix this. How do you think that we would do that? Well, um, thanks for asking that. Uh, I don't know that there is a way to fix Wikipedia within Wikipedia. Um, it's an institutionally conservative place. Um, I, what I want to see, actually, is a new, basically, uh, knowledge commons, a network of all the encyclopedia articles in the world collected together and made easily searchable. Um, you, you understand how the blogosphere works, right? So there's a, a standard yes. that is used, and that makes it possible to collect blog, uh, blogs and blog articles from all over the place. I want the same thing to happen, but with, with uh, encyclopedia articles. And if we did that, then we would no longer have to depend on Wikipedia, and we'd have, uh, especially if we couple that with a rating system, then the, we would be able to, or multiple rating systems actually, um, that would enable us to find the best articles from our own point of view um, on every subject. And again, we would then be free of Wikipedia. It must kill you as one of the people who founded Wikipedia, which has become this, this central part of our, of our culture, of our intellectual life, where does it is to say, to watch what's happened to it. How do you feel about that? I, I'm sorry, how do I feel about what? Your role in creating this thing that misleads ah. the country. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, to be quite honest, and I've said so for a long time. Um, I, I've been a, a leading critic of, of Wikipedia for over a decade now, and um, I've been trying various things to, to try to improve on it. And I'm sorry to all the people whose reputations have been sullied by, um, by what I, I got started 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, Google has helped a lot by promoting Wikipedia, which it, it assiduously does. Larry Sanger, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Uh, you don't need to atone here, but I, but I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Thank you.